We're back with OSG's Napoleon's Last Gamble, the uh, Quattro Bra scenario. Uh, easy one to learn the game. Not using vedettes, cards, or hidden units for now. Um, just to get the basic rules down here. Uh, we have finished the French movement. They had the initiative, or they were the first player to go. Um, and we see here they were able to aggressively move up the road, uh, destroy a coalition unit here, and push back the artillery here. So now we're on the coalition turn. Um, not much they can probably do this time, but let's uh, work through the sequence of play. Uh, weather doesn't apply. We're doing um, historical, which or I'm assuming fair to keep it simple. Um, later games we'll worry about it. Supply segment doesn't apply because we're already past that initial phase. No recovery or reorganization. Player may use eligibility to bring eliminated units back at reduced strength. I don't know if that means they can bring back the uh, the unit that was just destroyed. Let me check that. Okay, so the unit that um, was eliminated uh, was placed into the, um, I think it's that one, yeah, eliminated units awaiting recovery, and then a leader, so awaiting recovery, recovery segment only occurs on weather turns, so have to get to a weather turn, shifts there, and then it can come in during the reorganization segment of any turn, so bottom line is that unit's not coming back this turn. Maybe the game. So we go to the command segment here. And we do have Wellington with a four. Um, and we have Prince Williams with a one. Um, so what I can use is uh, Wellington can use his command to activate, <laughs> activate Picton. One, two, three, four. That activates Picton. And then that's within two of this one unit here. Only problem is Brunswick uh, is not in range of a commander, so we're going to have to roll against his initiative to get the infantry and the cavalry running. Uh, and then it's a little trickier here. Uh, this artillery unit, maybe I should have retreated him there, but hindsight is 2020 because of the terrain effects. We'll see that in a second. But uh, he is stuck there. He has to counterattack. Zocks are sticky. Um, but one, two, three, four. Uh, Wellington. We can use Prince William on this guy, and we'll use Wellington on him. So he's allowed four core commanders and one regular unit, if I read it right. And that'll activate uh, all those here. Commanders. Um, command rating is the number of command points may be exercised. He can place in command one officer plus, oh, one combat, wow. Wellington can pretty much activate the whole world here. So, um, yeah. But he'll activate this commander, he's in range, and activate this unit, he's in range. And in theory, he could activate this unit. So Wellington can activate everybody. So we're going to have to come up here, though, and roll for Brunswick. we got to roll a 1, 2, 3, or 4. Otherwise, they're going to be just like Kellerman in the French side here. <laughs> and they are. <laughs> Ouch, I needed that cavalry unit uh, to kind of screen over here, and I can't. Um, that's interesting. So, again, another out of command. I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just, I don't need to even mark them. I just know it. Uh, so we go to the... Um, movement phase. Uh, and these units under Brunswick, um, because Brunswick failed, uh, those units can't roll for initiative individually. Um, Picton is pretty straightforward. He is going to move all the units stacked here. can move four, one, two... I mean, I don't see any advantage in one, two, three, four coming over here. All right. Well, this guy, though, can do this trick. Um, he can come over here. One, two. And the cool thing about that hex is it is a chateau. An, 
and it's five victory points. So, when we look at the terrain effects for a chateau, units are not required to attack. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. And it's an infantry unit, so we, you know, up to two infantry units times two. So his defense is 12, and he doesn't have to attack. So this is a uh, powerful position. But again, the flanks, I, they're unguarded. Um, and then picked in... I guess he could put some units over here, because I'm worried about this guy coming around. Um, and in theory, this guy could come around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's okay. And get behind him. Um, and I hate to split my force. So it's a matter of just deciding, whoa, uh, yeah, I can put somebody here. One... I wonder, one, two, three, four. I can put him in the woods. That may be a more defensible. I just want to protect the flanks. Or do I want to go all the way here? Um, nobody's in a real position to swing around and attack him there, but let's see what woods get us. Uh, yeah, cavalry and artillery are half, so I'm not going to put those in the woods. Uh, change AR to shock. No combined arms attack or cavalry charges. No bombardment from or into. That's a nice place to be. Uh, but then we do have to put some units actually in Quatre Bras, and they're just crossroads. So looking at my units here, well, the artillery, well, um, well, let's put this guy here. Or he could go here. And what's the problem with Eric? Can anybody swing around? Two, three, four. No. And what we're doing is... Well, that would stop the cavalry unit there. What can that cavalry unit do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I don't know what advantage that would be. Um, tough choice here. Let's move... Uh, These two units, though, will move in here. That is the prize right there. So the question is, where does Picton go? <coughs> um, Picton will go with this unit. Uh, he can't move. He's moved, and he's moved, and this guy. One, two, hmm. three, four, or three, four. Well, that's a nice position. I don't know what that cav is going to do around here. So, I'm just trying to debate. Should uh, Well, he's in the clear. He can do a cavalry charge, so I don't need that. Right here. He's going to move there instead. And, let's see. All I need to do now is make these stacked nicely. I think Prince Williams can stay there. there. So, in theory, we, we've got kind of a line, but this can be breached, and this can be breached, and he's coming around, and this guy's still eating breakfast, so I believe that's it. Now, I don't have a good feeling about this unit. Uh, in Woods Hex, artillery adjacent combat, combat strength is half. That's why I should have gone here. But, now well, let's play what we did. So he's, it's going to be a 1 to 5. Yep, and that's it. It's straight 1 to 5. Um, yep. It's not promising. Wow. 3, 4, 5, or 6. He can retreat. He can be recovered, but hoping for a 1 or 2. That's about it. So we will roll the die. Yay! <laughs> okay, that's a simple AR. So... <coughs> interesting. Should he, um... Should he go here? Uh... I could have done bombardment on this guy, too. Um... I'll look at that. Let's see, I had a bombardment of... 
two. After all, a four, five, six, or seven. All right, let's uh, let's look at the bombardment rules real quick. All right, so the bombardment here is interesting. Um, first off, this unit uh, can't do any bombarding. He's adjacent to an enemy unit. Along with that, he's in forest. Um, so that's not allowed for an artillery unit. But coming up here, or here, there is a unit here that can bombard, too, so it could bombard here. But if we read this sequence, um, the French go first. And the French, maximum range is three, one, two, three. Uh, no line of sight, obviously. So then I've got this, and there's two here. Can't bombard into Chateau. Interesting here. Units are required. To no cavalry charge or bombardment. So they would have to bombard all the way to here. Three hexes. They'd have the first shot. They only have two. <coughs> so if we read the combat table and the modifiers at a three hex range, you're half. And if you're firing into Woods Cavalry, you're halved again. So that's a quarter. Um, yeah, I go down to 0 0.5. So they can bombard, but it's <coughs> less than one. They have to roll a seven, which they can't because we're not playing cards. They don't have a card. It's not point blank. It's not enfilade. Yeah, so really no effect from their bombardment. And then we go to the coalition and this 2-4 can bombard. Obvious target would be here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Clear terrain. <coughs> Range 2, no modifier. So it would literally be 2. They would roll on the 2 table. So in theory, wow. Four, five, or six. They can uh, they can get a response here. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and do that. Four, five, or six. Let's see what happens. <laughs> of course, six. Um, that's one R. Reduce one combat unit. Defender may then apply DR to whole stack. Oh, wow. That's um, pretty effective there. That invalidates the attack. Reduce one combat unit, attacker's choice. Defender may then apply... May then apply. That's interesting. Let me look up the rules. Okay, that makes sense now. So this unit is reduced. That's not good. And then it can decide to retreat if it wants to. Um, let's see. Let's look at the stacking. Stacking two combat units of any type plus one extra combat unit if from the same division. And that's good. So these could um, stack with each other, the fifth. Uh, so, does he want to stay here? And if he stays there... Um, then this unit is required to attack and the odds will be better, but still low. Um, let's see. Alright, well, I'm going to kind of mix and match. I'll take the one on the attack and let's... Just to keep this simpler. Well, what would the odds be? It would be 1.5 to 1, but it wouldn't. It would be 1 to 3 because of the having. So if we look at one to three, oh, there's even a DR there. But we'll assume the AR was the result. Um, so he will retreat to here. Um, yeah, and the French unit stays there. So do not underrate, underestimate bombardment.
And that is the end of the French turn. I mean the uh, coalition turn. Let's check, make sure we didn't miss anything. So another positive, we got to look at bombardment rules. And we did see the uh, terrain effects. And we did see a successful bombardment on this lead French unit. Um, so, and we <coughs> did see chateau, chateau rules here. Understand that better, so uh, it was good. So we've done the movement, we've done the combat, cavalry retreat, artillery reaction, bombardment, cavalry okay, well did the combat. Uh, second loss, we're not worried about that. We're not doing hidden units. So um, that takes us then to the next turn with the French. So we'll end it here. I'm at 15 minutes. I think that's a good break point. So reinforcements has come up. Um, I don't know if they've really protected their flanks yet. And the French have suffered some losses in the open bombardment from Picton's, I think it's Picton's batteries. Um, yeah, ice, okay. So, that's it. We'll stop it here. Thanks for listening.